it's Sam from DIY Huntress, and today I'm going to show you how I helped transform my parents' backyard into an outdoor movie theater. Let's get started. I teamed up with my awesome friends at The Home Depot to help make this project come to light. So I'm going to introduce this video by just saying that my parents have a pretty dope backyard set up right now. We absolutely love spending time in this backyard as a family. Obviously, I'm obsessed with this backyard because my shop is in this backyard. But anyway, my dad and my mom have been asking for an outdoor movie theater for a while because they love to entertain and have family over, especially for the holidays. And I knew the perfect spot alongside my dad's garage for this project. And even cooler, I got a chance to get my dad involved with me on this project as my partner in crime. So let's start there. So mind you, we came here for lumber and look where my dad is now. Huh. We came here for lumber. I know, now I'm redesigning the whole freaking car. Yeah, this is why we're not allowed to go to Home Depot yeah, unsupervised. So get, what are you thinking? I'm taking Veronica home with me. You're <laughs> taking Veronica the, home with me. We're going to do one, two, we're going to do a forties. We're going to be in so much trouble. <laughs> Do you have enough plants yet? Look at this guy. What happened? You're just having a field day, huh? I see nothing. I know nothing. It's on video. I have evidence of you buying a thousand plants. It's not me. It's my inner self. Um, I guess we're uh, building an outdoor movie theater and making a garden. And off he goes. God, I always wondered where I got my crazy plant lady gene from, and clearly it's from you. Gee, thanks. I'm a crazy plant lady. You are a crazy plant lady. Ready to go? Before we get into no, some I more trouble. So after our Home Depot shopping spree, it was time to clear some space for the project. And while we do that in the background, let's talk about design process for a second. So I've mentioned this in other videos, but I personally don't think that my home design skills are my strength. I love building and designing woodworking projects. When it comes to color coordination, I'm just not the best. Luckily, Home Depot has a new project color app that completely coordinated this entire backyard setup for me. All I had to do was click on the main color that I wanted to use for my woodworking project and I was able to find other colors that coordinated with that color and then I picked out all the other accents in the yard using that app. And with the overall design out of the way, it was time to get started on this project. So first things first, my dad and I dug a couple of holes for 4x4 posts which are going to be used as the frame for the backdrop for the movie theater screen that I am installing in this yard. We did end up having to work around some electrical lines and be super careful there, but ultimately we just dug out these holes. I poured some gravel into the holes, tampered them down, and then we placed the posts back into those openings and also used concrete so that they wouldn't fall over and they were set in place forever. Now, one little trick we used to help make setting these posts at exactly even heights was to actually mark the posts themselves for where we wanted them to be underground. That way we knew exactly how much space we would have above the posts in order to add the decorative slat boards later. So once everything was set in stone or concrete very soon, my dad lifted the post into that opening, used a level to make sure that it was level, and then I poured cement into the hole and we just continually checked for level to make sure that the posts were completely straight. Overall, for this part of the project, we ended up using three 4x4 posts and we measured to make sure that they were as evenly spaced as possible given all of the weird electrical wire constraints we had in the ground. And once all of that concrete was set, it was then time to let these posts dry overnight before moving on to phase two of this project. So I really wanted to make this movie theater wall thing look like a decorative accent wall. So I decided to go with a slat wood look. And for this, I use pressure treated one by fours, but I didn't love the rough factory edge on the board. So I ran every single board through my table saw on both sides to flatten out the sides and make them perfectly straight. I then cut the end of the board to make that perfectly square as well and then began to measure all of my pieces to a perfect eight foot length. Once they were all cut, I then sanded everything down to 220 grit before bringing all of the boards outside to stain using the choice stain for this project, which inspired the entire color palette for the entire backyard. 
Now, while I spend some time staining this project, I want to talk about a tool that has come in handy for me this entire year on many different projects, and that is the paint calculator on the Home Depot app. I have used this paint calculator to calculate exactly how much paint I have needed for home improvement projects throughout this entire year, and it has been a total money saver on so many projects. This time I actually used it for a woodworking project and it was able to tell me exactly how much I needed for two coats and I really did not have that much left over at the end of this project. But once everything was stained, I then called in my dad one more time to help me with the first board and we worked together to make sure that it was completely level all the way across because this will be my reference board for all of the other slats on this entire wall. And once that board was up and it was straight, I then used spacer blocks in between each and every slat to make sure they were all perfectly and evenly spaced and then attached each one to the posts using my brad nailer. Anyone else wish that projects would move this fast in real life? Because I certainly am right now while watching this. Before I could call it a night on this part of the project, I did want to just touch up any boards where I missed stain and I also did go back to every single board and apply a second coat as well. I definitely found that applying the first coat before attaching the boards and then applying the second coat while they were on was such an easier way to do a project like this. Overall, the finish was so much neater and I didn't have to fight to get into every nook and cranny. So once that project was dry, I then came in and added an eye hook to this backer board in order to hang the projection screen that I purchased for this project. But as with everything in this video, you can find all the details on what I used for this project on my blog post. And once that screen was done, all that was left was to just add the finishing touches to this backyard space, including some accents like a new fire pit since the old one came from the old house and did not match the vibe of this outdoor space, and also a brand new outdoor dining set that fits way more family members around the table and also around the movie screen. And if you are like me and my family, we are very visual. The Home Depot app does offer an augmented reality tool where you can virtually see furniture in the space before committing to it, which is what we did with many different options before we landed on this gorgeous wood table. Seriously, so lucky to have both my dad and my little brother Jordan help me out with this project because we were actually able to get the entire thing done within a few days. And I know you guys are wondering like, where's Titan? He's supposed to be helping. And I totally agree, but he's kind of really useless and he's lucky he's cute to be quite honest. Titan, you're fired. <laughs> sleeping on the job. <laughs> Caught sleeping on the job. To help make this backyard really kind of feel like that movie theater vibe, my dad and I added some really cute accent lighting as well as some Bluetooth speakers that look like rocks, which were really cool and they work really well actually. And also some really cute decorative elements to the backyard to just give it a really homey and cozy feel. We then quite literally fired up the new fire pit as well as a projector for the screen and just like that, this really dope backyard became even more epic with an outdoor movie theater setup. And we have seriously enjoyed watching all of our favorite TV shows and movies on the screen in the backyard over the past few nights. I love making projects come to life for my family and I am so stoked that I got a chance to make this backyard movie theater happen for them. We have been using it nonstop and we absolutely love having even more excuses to just chill in the backyard. And with holiday season coming up and really awesome nighttime fall weather, I imagine that this backyard movie theater space is going to get a lot of love from immediate family and extended family for a long time to come. I really hope that you all love this project as much as my family did. If so, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell. There is no way that I could do any of this without your support, so thank you for being awesome. In the meantime, friends, there will be tons of projects coming up very soon, so see you soon and happy DIYing.